uh, very first run to be the one that is the most expendable so to speak so this guy here the heavy and this guy here the sniper they are going to carry us they through the first the month hopefully a short we'll question from the stream the yeah eight days could, uh, could nice. be worse it could be i don't know 17 sometimes um a short question from the stream was would red fog be something in your favor or against uh that is debatable uh it could be in our f favor and it uh, kind of um it kind of motivates towards strategies of uh, of using mass explosives just to harm them a little bit and hence they are super inaccurate at least with a mod which uh, which gives uh, also which also applies the red mod, uh, mod modifier to uh, to the aliens but as it stands it also could backfire to you so i would say it's a 50 uh, it's a 50 50 um, we start with Mel because I want to have uh, Max uh, right, right, uh, quite early. Um, our steam locations are fucked up, like they always are. And let's take a look at our soldiers. The sniper has awesome aim; that is good. Basically, all of them are pretty nice. And I'm just looking for a replacement for our support. And I guess Vivana Rossi is going to be our prime candidate. So let's Commander mark her control. with the right color. Um, and let's shortly color code our guys as well. So support is always green. Um, sniper is always white. Assault red and heavy yellow. That's going to be our colors plus. Let's not fool ourselves, the shotgun is not going to be our main weapon. We do have decent aim, hence we are going to take a real weapon. Now we are hoping for a UFO or an abduction mission. Commander, Speaking about which, that is good as Abductions a first mission. So when thinking own. about abduction missions, uh, maybe a little bit of comment on meta game here. You want to minimize the impact of um, of panic. Um, first, uh, first terror mission is anyways, uh, or first abduction mission is anyways always going to go for engineers. So there is no no debate on it. But later on, you want to manage the the panic levels quite a lot. So keep in mind, not only the main country is receiving panic, but all of the adjacent countries in the same continent are also getting the panic. So in this case, Europe and Asia are by far the worst choices. Um, and of course, it wouldn't be XCOM if I wouldn't receive the worst choices in the first instance. So uh, this year is not only going to fuck up France, but it is also on top uh, going to add three more uh, panic to the other three uh, countries. Um, yeah, luckily for us, uh, uh, our uh, our mission is going to be in Australia, so at least um, at least Asia is going to be safe for now. So let's, without further ado, take Vivana Rossi, which we marked earlier, and go for the mission. It was a very difficult mission, so that means it's going to be exactly twelve enemies uh, in four pots uh, uh, with three enemies per pot. We do have five explosives so our rule of the thumb is going to be one explosive per pot. If you're using more than that you need to uh, secure it and use less in the next encounter. There's the first melt and let's talk a little bit about spawns. This here is a very 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 likely spawn at the beginning. There is a second spawn, which could happen up here. Just be aware about it. There's a third spawn on this roof. And I'm talking about these specifically because we are going to take the roof here. Now there's the big but at, at this stage. If you're uh, moving up here, this position specifically has line of sight to this position. So you better make damn sure that you already discovered this before finding out, damn, I just move on, uh, on top of the roof and just trigger the port here. Then you find yourself often, and that happened more than once, uh, going out of line of sight, even moving a little bit too far here, and there's the next pot on, uh, on this roof. So things like these are going to be crazy 
follow-ups of not knowing where exactly you are going to start. So keep your, um, let's say, decency and, uh, and humbleness on this map. We're going to take this melt, but that's about it. Afterwards, we are taking it very, very slow. I'm systematically going to uh, approach this room and after we have cleared it we are then going on top and if the second melt is not working out so be it. I'm not going to go all rampage. With that being said we still want to see if there is a trigger here because if there would be a trigger we would need to move into this wash washing uh, saloon. Right? And we still want the melt. That's for sure as well. The chance of a pack in here is rather slim. There is a very slim chance of a spawn here, so I'm not going to double move again. Let's be humble and reasonable for a second. We're moving our guys up here, that's good enough, we will get it next round. Well, I still have three more rounds. The most important part is know your maps. And by speaking about that, I just fucked it up because uh, that is a spawn that I haven't known so far. I double moved, which is super super bad. So let's make the uh, let's let's make the best out of a worse uh, out of a very very bad situation. These guys are in the open. I can't change it, but I can get her into cover. My support, which I would have liked to uh, to take, is not available. So what I'm now going to do is something which is baiting them. I'm going to run and gun here. I'm going to take. Um, a solid position here which will hopefully motivate them to fire at our assault and all of these shots are 30% shots instead of taking a 75% uh, shot at an open target. They currently don't know that these targets are open and they will not advance further if they already have a good target that they could fire at. Plus maybe I'm able to eliminate one of them. I am not able to eliminate one of them now the only chance that I do have is to overwatch and hope that I'm going to kill the first one. So he took a position. Unfortunately, he has sight on the uh, on the uh, on the guys that are standing in the open. But he so desires to shoot at someone in full cover. Whatever. That was borderline very lucky. This guy here moved once, so he's going to be on Overwatch. Here's the Mind Melder. I definitely want to get this guy. So a flank on him would be supreme. But unfortunately the flank is blocked by, by this vision. You need to be on this tile here in order to flank him. Let's think it through for one second. If I could get this guy, I wouldn't even consider that, that here to be wasteful, because I would kill three of them. Now, from the pure range, it is okay, but the wall is blocking my uh, is blocking my rocket. I am now at uh, given. Uh, I'm now given the the choice to basically decide if I want to use just another explosive to get rid of this pile of the wall in order to then throw in a, a rocket and kill all three of them. But guess what, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit, uh, uh, something a little bit different. I want to make sure um, that we still have the rocket as the backup plan, so he certainly could remove the tile. Um, so that's always our fallback position. Using two explosives for the first uh, for the first pot is not what I wanted to do, but uh, considering that they completely ambushed us, it's I guess making the bad uh, the best out of a very 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 poor situation. We're not moving the heavy, that's for sure. And if we move the sniper, um, we better make sure that she could throw, uh, kill this guy with a grenade. 
which currently is not the case. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to blow up his cover here. So I'm opening the vision of on on the other guy, and then I'm going to follow up uh, uh, with uh, with simple shots in order to give the guys the opportunity to kill them with just normal guns. Now let's let's see. I can't remember that I've seen a, a spawn here but I don't want to go too far into the open. This here would provoke uh, the overwatch shot. Um, and I'm definitely going to kill them this round. So let's be as careful as possible. We always need to have a backup plan. I'm not worried about this guy because he will die anyways. Uh, but I don't want to trigger any anything more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to damage all of them so they will die in one hit. And I'm going to remove both of the cover that I was uh, mentioning earlier. So the thinking here is, I could now kill both of them with a rocket. It would be the easiest, uh, the easiest way. Uh, but I could also try to get a couple of kills on on my other on my other guys. Let's start with the most pressing situation. You always want to go for the mind measure first. That was good. And now this gentleman. We do have a solid 87% chance. We will not get close enough. From here on onwards we would get proximity bonus to, to hit, but also um, we can't reach this with a single move. So let's just try to kill him, okay? Let's go. Oh. I nearly fucked it up, guys. I wanted to show you a nice encounter, and I nearly fucked it up. So I'm for if I want to have the melt, I'm forced to go a little bit more inside. Um, I don't know if we have uncovered this location so far, but it seems to be uncovered. So hopefully I'm not fooling myself again. No, I'm not. All right. So we get the the melt in the next um, in the next turn. Moving out. In hand, Commander. There we go. Okay. Now that took a lot of timing Solid pressure copy. off of our shoulders, I suppose. So Good to go. let's very calmly now kind of assemble our troops and next up we are going to uncover this location and hopefully teach them a lesson to not use our washing saloon. They should use their own. And anyways, where are they in, inside the washing saloon by thinking about it again? Because I've never seen a sectoid very close. Hmm. I don't know. That's probably too much of a metagaming question. Here's the second melt. Um, and I like to go on top of the roof. Mm, and I also like to get the melt, to be quite honest. So let's maybe adapt our plan. I'm, I said we don't want to be too greedy. Um, so let's have a reasonable, uh, a reasonable approach to this. Um, we already cleared this pack behind here. Has a chance of one pack here, but that's th that's about it. Um, so let's move to this door. We are completely out of line of sight, and open the door. There is still an ele elevator here up up uh, on top of the roof, which I want to use anyways. I want to go on top of the roof. And there's the option to get the melt. Option. Not the necessity to do it. So we made sure that there's no one here. Now we can move up all the other guys. And double time them in. Good. We want to get the best positions, as always, uh, for our immobile targets, which is the sniper and our heavy. 
the other ones are going to take the positions of opening the door and taking a potential flank. I'm standing out of line of sight as you've seen here, so I literally was not moving onto this square because I don't want to trigger anything as of this turn. It was just a preparation turn. And we know that there is a high chance of uh, sector pick out here. So it's very easy, you can just follow kind of the noise and you will then see whether or not there is a sector here. So within the streets it appears to be clear. Maybe they have also moved. Good. So time to open it. Eyes on on the goods. Goods. No, it was just outside of our range. Alright, two of them moved on top of the roof, which is the position that we don't want to see when dealing with aliens. I heard a door opening, so the other one went into the washing saloon. Hmm. Let's first of all see what else is uh, available. Don't want to trigger a second pack right now. So let's shortly see if there is any sector here. No. We still have four more rounds and like I said, that is totally optional. Don't want to put too much pressure on us. I much rather like to go on top of the roof and mingle a little bit with the two sectors. Um, they are going to mind meld up. And I guess we're just in an awfully bad position to to engage them. So we are definitely going to go for, for this uh, door. Wow, she has great odds on hitting them and she would definitely kill them. How about him? She doesn't have bullet swarm. We would have a rocket as a backup. No, let's stick with our original plan, shall we? So they will mind melt. Hence, only one of them will shoot. So we will just hunger down. We are keep in mind we are behind a destructible cover, so there's always the chance of them destroying it. That's the reason why I I want to make sure um, that that only two of us could shoot at the cover because if, if it's three of them, uh, two will mind melt and two of them will shoot. Uh, in this case, they did not get any any shot. So this guy just mind melt with him, which means we are having a solid chance of killing both of them, and that's exactly what I wanted. Here we go. Come on. So bad. Roger that. But let's not panic. There's more to go. Our assault saved the day. So I guess the key question now is, where is the remaining sectoid? Can't move up far enough, but he would need to move up all the way here in order to take a flank on us and he could, on, he could not even flank him because he has no line of sight there. So I suppose what I'm going to do instead of move here, which might appear like the natural choice, but you can be flanked from the other side. I'm just going to cover him by going here. Scanning. And his solid copy just told me he understood what I was aiming for. Moving. So that's just our bait again, because he needs to be somewhere around here. That is okay for me because they are a prime target for our rocket. Uh, they are now moving a little bit too far away for, our, uh, for being our prime target, but they could have been our prime target. Like, look at that. 
they knew it was heavy and that's the reason why they said fuck it just go a little bit further away in other words they didn't fall for the hunker down trick too bad so let's think it through there is still one more pot Oh, that's so bad. I, I definitely want to get this one. Uh, but I do not know if there is any spawn here. In case of a doubt, there is a rule of thumb. Greed gets you killed. So just don't be greedy. I'm willing to let the melt go. Here is the sectoid, by the way. That's the last one. So one sectoid here, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He can move up to here. So that's his one move range or distance, which is uh, which means he could move up to here and then take good shots at him. But that's okay, I uh, I guess. Um, Alright, so next round I would want to um, uh, to take an engagement on them. This here unfortunately is like destructible cover, which I don't like uh, really. I also, but I do want to have the sniper in range. So I'm going to take a little risk that he's going to be targeted um, twice and that they are lucky enough to remove his, uh, uh, her cover. But really, that's at this moment uh, a low risk, I would say. So there's a mind melt. Four of them are currently active, which perfectly suits two mind melts. Okay, that's the first one. Already moved there. Not, they they didn't expose just as much as I expected them to ex, uh, to expose themselves. So the other sector is here, right here. So any grenade on them will basically hit the double amount of sectoids. There is the chance of us to remove some of their cover, which I'm now going to do without penetrating the cover of my own guy. And I guess that was, was a worthwhile exercise, because we now have clear shots. There was even one guy behind here. We have uh, clear sh clearer shots now. Well, that's a 100% shot, that's a 100% shot. Let's get this guy out of the way first, because I can still use a grenade in order to kill both of them. And he had more HP. He's down. He's down indeed. He certainly is down. So that's a solid shot as well. I'm willing to take it. Kill, confirmed. Kill is indeed confirmed. And the last two of them are here and here. So what we are now going to do is we are overwatching. I don't expect them to just charge in. That would be blatantly stupid. But I am expecting them to take a little firefight. Oh yes, please. Please, please, move here. No, don't, don't move back. Damn you guys for always moving back. Okay, so much for our cover. We are definitely going to retreat now. 
So there are, that was by the way the last pack. There are two of them here and three of them here. Let's check where exactly uh, these guys are. So we can see if the rocket has enough value if, uh, if I would shoot it to the right hand side. So one of them is here, obviously. But where did the others move? The second one is here, I can't reach him. Did the third one even move further than that? Really? Damn, you guys are afraid, aren't you? So the third one is somewhere here as well, can't find him right now. But that means the, the rocket on the left hand side would only kill one, which makes it utmostly less effective than shooting it onto this side. Now here's something to consider. If my heavy would screw it up, he could uh, shoot the rocket right into him and kill him. It's not the first, uh, it wouldn't be the first time that this happened. Um, and I don't like it very much. I'm thinking about pulling back just a little bit. This guy here. We need to move all the way here. That's the problematic part. They theoretically have enough movement to go to here, but that's also a very nice flank. It indeed is. This one here would be even better. And I'm thinking about going there. I need to move him away, that's for sure. Let's uh, think the rest of the turn through. Uh, she has a pretty decent shot, and I think I'm going to take this one. I'm even considering taking this one regardless, because it's the only shot that she could take. Hmm, no, no granites whatsoever. Hmm. And I need to move him. I could also go here, which is a little bit more of a defensive approach. But there is such a nice flank, and I don't want to have a long firefight, long drawn out firefight with them. So let's start by killing this guy. That's a no brainer here. We certainly have a nice sniper, that's for sure. Secondly, This guy here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no, no, he's not going to stand out in the open. Even if he could kill us with that, that is not what the AI is going to do. So let's move him here. Alright, so the other two guys are here and here. That's fine for me. Good. Now, next up, let's talk about the rocket here and his 90% rocket of doom. Rockets away. So, that's two less and only two more of them which are currently active. They can't go here in one turn, which means this here would mean full cover and a nice position for an overwatch. They, they would need to stand here in order to flank them. Since I know that this guy is here, this here is more than a single move. There we go. Let's see what they are doing. Not very surprisingly, they are trying to mind melt. And that was a double turn, uh, a double move, my dear. That was a double move. Now, the most tempting part is going here and basically running and gunning him down. Uh, that one I would definitely enjoy. But there's always the chance of... of not dealing enough damage. Um, 
let's currently think if I'm not going aggressive I don't that needs to be 100% 100 uh, percent uh, uh, um, sure kill we killed all three of them here but the one thing where I'm not sure about is we activated another pod there were two up here and one of them escaped which was this lonely sectoid here let's think that through I just want to make sure that there's like no other sectoid anywhere around the sniper killed two, the guy here and uh, the guy uh, in cover earlier. Um, the assault killed one, which was a straight up shot, and the heavy killed two, which is five down, plus the two on the roof, which is seven plus the three down there, which is 10, which means that these two are the last two on the map. All right, so now I'm sure that we haven't miscounted. And let's see what our proximity could, uh, could do. If this hits, yeah. So that's a 100% kill. It is going to be GG. Here we go, straight up into the open. Dealing 3 damage, taking our assault and running this guy down like as if there would be no tomorrow. Dash down here. Hello there little gentleman. 100%. Down he goes. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. So we could have uh, gotten two out of two melt. That would be the only improvement. But I still stand firm with my explanation, um, knowing uh, not knowing what's uh, in the in the back alley there. Uh, we could have triggered commander, one pot. Impressive work, commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. All right. We just got a new sniper as well, so dual sniper currently. I would have preferred to get squad sight on one of them instead of having two snipers, but I guess we can't change this right now. soldiers by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. The new engineers arrived this morning. Still need to wait until the excavation finishes and now we are continuing. Let's go.